Welcome to Excel Edge Trick number 711. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Edge Trick 711 to 714. In this trick here we have a list of employee zip codes all the way down a couple hundred, however many rows. I'm going to click there, control down arrow. So 1,400 rows. Those are control home. Those are zip codes for employees. Now we need to count Here's all of the zip codes in King County. We need to count totally how many employees total live within these King County zip codes. This one goes down, control down arrow to about 88. Control home goes to A1. Now we could do this the whole, we'll do this the whole column and then the one formula solution. Uh, this, if you need information about each zip code, then this would be the preferable method. Just count if. And count if. You give it the range with all the criteria. Click on the top cell, control shift down arrow, and then the F4 key to lock it with the dollar signs. Comma, and then criteria. The criteria is just one, two cells to my left, relative cell reference. Close parentheses, control enter. Now, I'm going to just click and drag this. If we double click, there's nothing to the left. I think uh, 2010. It's a slightly different option, but we won't do that here. And you can see we have uh, some zip codes where there are zero people and some where there's a lot, right? Okay, now control down arrow. We need a total. Right here, when I copy this down, I copied it one too far, so I'm going to hit the delete. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals, and that'll add up the entire column. So when I hit Enter, 1127, so that's our total control home, our total number of employees from this column that live in these zip codes. Now all together in one formula, we're just going to do count if the range, I'm going to highlight the same range, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, the criteria, well, I'm just going to give it all the criteria right there, control shift down arrow, F4. Now, what does this do? If I move this out of the way, close parentheses. Let's highlight this. And then F9. Well, what does it do? It returns all these uh, individual numbers. So what it's doing is, because we gave it a whole column of criteria, it got how many people from here that match that criteria? 65. How many from this that match that criteria? 26. So it's returning a, an array of all the values. Control Z. So what do we do? We could do a couple different things, but by far the easiest, just sum product. Because sum product can add, if you give it just one array, it'll add. The fact that it's an, it is an array, if we use the sum function, we'd have to use Control Shift Enter to enter it. But sum product, because that says array there, and it's programmed to be able to handle arrays, we can just hit Enter. All right, so there's uh, finding all of these employees who have a zip code and a certain number of uh, different zip codes. All right, see you next trick.